This is a kobold from AD&D, and thankfully I don't know what a kobold looks like, and I'm assuming you I don't I have no either. idea. Alright. We are not D&D people. Alright, so what, what, I'm gonna- So here's this. what it oh, says. So it's a kobold. kobold. There you go. It says, barely clearing three feet in height. Okay. So this thing is short. It's half the height of a human. They have scaly hides that range from dark rusty brown to a rusty black. So like a armadillo kind of thing, I guess? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Like a pangolin. Ooh. We can't really talk about it. Coronavirus. They smell of damp dogs and stagnant water. That's not This great. is not a good smelling thing. Their eyes glow like a bright red spark, and they have two small horns ranging from tan to white. Because of their fondness for wearing raggedy garb of red and orange, their non-prehensile rat-like tails, Ooh. and their language, which sounds like small dogs yapping, these fell creatures are often not taken seriously. So this is a comedy kobold. Interesting. A, a K-O-M-E-D-Y. The description up until that point, I was taking very seriously. I was too. But all of a sudden, it's like, nah. So, are we picturing this as some sort of lizard thing? It's scary. Right. And you know what's very interesting about this? In three feet in height, what does that mean? Does it stand up on its leg? That's a very good question. You know what? They also don't talk about the face. Nothing about the face. It says they sound like a small dog yapping, so it probably has a face like a chihuahua or something. It's got horns. And it also describes it as having rat-like tails, which are not lizards. Okay, well... So we've got a lot to work with here. This lot. is confusing. Okay. Someone says fell equals hellish, I think. Well, it's, got two, it's got two horns and a rat tail, so. Yeah, two horns and a rat tail. Okay, let's just say a lizardy dog face. Yeah. So what do we know about its head? It has red eyes. Red eyes and not. Two small it horns. It doesn't say anything besides the eyes and the horns. There's nothing about its facial features. And like, clearly this is not a particularly intimidating thing, right? And it must be standing upright because it says right. three feet high, not three feet long. So it's got to be like a rat on its hind legs or something. I don't know. Wearing raggedy um, garb of red and orange and non prehensile rat like tails. It's interesting that they wear it. So they actually, so yeah, it must be upright and it's got like a crappy little vest on or something. Yeah, I don't like know. Like a raggedy, yeah, yeah. A raggedy vest. And like, let me just, I'm gonna draw yeah. it naked. Sorry, kids. It's gonna be naked first and then we'll dress That's it. That's still PG. I feel like a naked kobold is not gonna get you an R or a hard R rating. Yeah, I agree. Right? I don't, is, is a naked kobold PG 13 by the MPA? I don't know. Um, so folks, if you want to recommend a monster or anything, the rules are it has to be something we don't know, which if it's from D&D, we probably don't. We don't play any D&D. So as long as it's not like an obvious thing. And then you have to go find a good description of it that we can draw from and paste it into the chat. What about, what do we think of for arms on this thing? So, you know, it didn't say that it had any arms, so I'm not sure. Presumably it would have to have some. It's supposed to have scales. Oh, right. Right? So it should have some scales, like some interlocking scales or something. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what they mean. Because it didn't say armor. They just say scales. So I guess it's more like a snake. They have a rat-like tail, which you did. Got the horns. Yeah, it says small horns. Does that mean they're short? Should those be stubby? Should I those went, be more stubby? I went, I went with like... Small meaning just like, low diameter. Yeah, but no, let's go, let's go all, right. all in on that. Yeah, them. yeah. Are we just going armless on this? I mean, they didn't say arms, but they didn't say not arms. So I don't know what to make of that. Do you? No, I have no idea what to make of that. Well, it's going, I, I've gone in a dinosaur kind of direction here. But I think that's fair because other than the rat tail, most of the clues they've given us sound sort of dinosaur-y. Sounds like a dinosaur wearing clothes. It's not my fault if they can't describe their own monster. That's true. I mean, you know, they didn't even mention arms. That's a bit weird. Here, I'm just giving him, I, his clothes need to be like rattier, you know? He smells like a wet dog. And it looks, that looks good what you've got there because that doesn't, it says they don't look like they'd be taken seriously and that does look kind of silly. Like it's like, all right, you know, am I going to be that scared <laughs> of that thing? No, right? Like it doesn't look menacing. And then he likes, what is it? Orange and red clothing? It says that it's raggedy red and orange so yeah it's like a brown creature with orange clothes it sounds really ugly it's like a really bad furniture set and then also it specifies the color of the horns as well they're like tan okay someone just posted something very good the killer rabbit of carabinog mm. I'm, I'm cutting that one out all right, so I think I think we're basically. Oh wait, no, we can't do that one. Why? Because now that I'm reading it, I recognize the fact that it's from Monty Python. We know what that rabbit uh... looks like. Also, doesn't that rabbit just Sorry. look like a rabbit with red eyes, basically? Yeah. It, big 
sharp fangs and crude teeth is no ordinary rabbit. <laughs> I remember that from my childhood days. Your childhood days, back when you were a childhood child. Childhood days when I was a wee baby duckling. All right, I think we're going to call it on this. All do right. we look up together on stream what an actual one looks like? Is this a thing we do? What? Yeah, I mean, we probably should. Oh, but give him a little, give him a little, give him a little shading layer. Give him a little wow. highlight. Give wow. him a little highlight. Oh my goodness, we're going hardcore. We? I like how you did the raggy, the raggedy clothes, though. Yeah. Yeah. Worked out. I feel like a highlight shadow layer is not a big, not a, not, no, it, it adds honest, a lot of pop. If the people are okay with it, what do the people want? Oh, the people just want, they just want this to be entertained. They just want this high quality content. Yes. I will now go look up what a cobalt actually looks like. And I think I can even potentially, possibly, maybe, sort of, not necessarily, actually put that up on the stream so that we can see, you know, what the difference is. And we're going to go ahead and just do cobalt what images. What if it's just exactly this? You know, it's not that. What? <laughs> it's not that far. It does have arms, though. I blame them for that. They, it, they did not mention arms anywhere. So I feel like that description, that the, is not our fault. But the lizard, like the lizard dog um, face thing is like pretty, pretty gut spot on. Like it's a lizard dog. So let me go ahead and see if I can add um, a window capture on there. So that's, just, look, that's a quality cobalt. I yeah, feel like. it's not, it's not bad. So there's our cobalt, and here, there it is. There's our boy. You know, that's, I mean, come on. If they had just told us it had arms, I you think know, we would have pretty much actually, been there. It actually, looks exactly right. They also, the you body. You crushed it, the, you crushed it. The color of the body they described is grayish. Yeah, and is that looks red. So so I don't I don't even know if they read their own description. But all right. Okay. I think that was uh, that yeah. that Not I bad. mean, come you did better than they did at drawing their own description well, if you ask yeah, me. Yeah, you know. So, I don't know. Okay.